This is a short first impressions, no B-roll, no BS video about the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro that I've now been using for the past two days as my main driver. Let's start off with talking about the positive points I've found so far. The main positive point I have to say straight away is the screen. Everything with the screen is really amazing. Both the 16 by 10 aspect ratio, the great brightness, the great color accuracy, the fact that it's a 2.8K screen with 90 Hertz refresh rate. This is truly the best laptop screen I have been using so far. The second thing I've really enjoyed with this guy is actually gaming on it. And this is a surprise to me because I thought that I would probably have to plug in my eGPU to be able to get enough power to utilize this 90 Hertz screen. But actually, when playing on this i5 XE graphics, I was setting Overwatch to native resolution 2.8K, low graphics, 50% render scale, and reaching 100 FPS stable. Therefore, I was able to play at an actual 90 Hz refresh rate. This was a great surprise to me, but really enjoyable for mobile gaming. The third thing I gotta say about this laptop is the overall quality feel of it. I didn't mention it much in my unboxing video, but the quality feel of this laptop is great. You really, really feel that this has a build quality that will last for a long time. And I think that is very important when it comes to laptop because you want great longevity and you also want a premium feel from your device. And this really has that premium feel to it more so than the regular Yoga Slim 7 has. The fourth thing I've really come to enjoy is actually the speakers. I thought the fact that there's bottom firing speakers would be a bit of a problem because I really come to like the fact that the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 has those top firing speakers that give a great clarity, especially to the treble of the audio. But I gotta say these speakers are really good. They are loud enough, they are clear enough. When you place them on a table, it's amazing. But even when you have them on your lap, it's, it's pretty good. It is really good audio. As good laptop audio as you can expect to get from a unit in this size. The last thing I want to mention as a positive is actually the trackpad. And I was mentioning this as a bit of a negative in my unboxing video because of this rattling noise that is in the bottom of the trackpad when you do the soft click. But I gotta say that the trackpad is good. It's really the right kind of size and it's tracking really well. And it's overall a nice experience to use it. I am positively surprised and I haven't been that disturbed by that rattling noise that come in the very bottom of it here when you are doing the soft click. Most of the time I'm using an external mouse, so I'm not too much into using the trackpad, but the times I've been using it, it hasn't been that much of a problem. Let's move over to the negative parts I found with it so far. This has a 62 watt hour battery, and I was really expecting to get 8 to 10 or maybe even 12 hours of battery life out of it. The figures I'm seeing so far is not that great. It's more around the 6-7 hour ballpark, and I was really expecting this to deliver more than that. Now I know this is a 2.8K screen, it has high brightness, it has a 90Hz refresh rate, so of course that is a screen that will consume quite a lot of power out of the battery. But also, i5 is not a very power draining CPU, so I still thought that this in combination would give a pretty good battery life. So far I'm not seeing that amazing battery life, but I will keep on testing it and see for my full review what are the actual figures of the battery life of this device. When it comes to the camera quality, well, first of all, I gotta say the fact that the camera is up top here and not down here in the keyboard as in the MateBook 14 is a great thing. I really don't appreciate the fact to have the camera down in the keyboard. So having it in this regular spot and being able to adjust it is great. However, the camera quality, same thing as in the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7, really poor quality. I just don't understand why Lenovo won't put a proper high quality webcam in their devices in these days when everyone is working from home, everyone is taking meetings remotely. We need a high quality camera in a device that is stated as a professional laptop as the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro. 
there has to be a better setup when it comes to the camera. Connected to this is the next negative thing I want to talk about, which is the microphone. And the microphone on my Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i, the regular non-pro version, has been really good and worked great in all my different business meetings. However, here in the pro version, I've had in pretty much every single meeting I've taken during these past two days, people telling me that they can't hear me when I'm using the built-in microphone. So I gotta go either pick up a hands-free and plug that in, or I gotta go and get an external USB microphone and plug that in for people to actually be able to have me join the meeting in a proper way. I don't know if there's settings that I can adjust to fix this, but the fact that it is like that out of the box in this day and age worries me a little bit. This is not the way I would prefer a professional notebook that I will use as my work laptop to be out of the box. These are my first impressions of the positive and the negative points of the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i Pro. If you want my full review video that will go live in about a week and a half or so, please subscribe to the channel and you will get updated when this video goes live. I'm W2Best, I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.